Okay. Let's try this again. Okay, now that that's all done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have George Washington as the leader of all of my units, and I'm going to go all the way out here in the uh, northwest, as it would be known, and I'm going to occupy the British regions out here in modern-day Illinois. Then I'm going to focus on fighting the British in Canada. But in the meantime, I'm going to build up some soldiers in Louisville, in the modern-day state of Kentucky. I'm just going to build, I'm going to build one Hussar, one Royal Mortar, uh, one Royal Mortar, yeah, one Royal Mortar, and the rest is just going to be infantry. And I think I might have exceeded my manpower limit, but I still have mercenaries, so I'm going to build just a ton of those as well. Most okay, maybe I'll just stick to infantry. I'm just gonna go for quality over no, I'm gonna go for quantity over quality here because the British have a lot of troops. Now, I gotta ask if one of these native tribes is gonna give me like military access. Okay, the Miami tribe will give me military access. What about the Huron? They will too. Okay, that's good. So, I've just started things up and Let's continue once again. Um, I'm just gonna go with this. Okay. I'll deal with these rebels here in a minute. Okay, I'll accept the petition. New Spain announced me as a rival. Okay, New Spain announced me as a rival, which is kind of weird, but whatever. Okay, these rebels have occupied Bennington. I'll get to them in a minute. I can actually send this newly recruited soldier to the region of Kaskas, uh, Kaskaskia, whereas um, the other units I already have are going to go to Little Egypt. So, there we go. And I... Okay. Alright. So here, I, here are my soldiers. Okay. Alright, that was a success. Let me send him back to Louisville. Or let me send these units back to Louisville, to be more correct. Okay. Okay, let me send this unit back to Louisville as well. Now, have the British... Okay, the British have started blockading my coasts. There's just... They could... I'm going to see if I can fight the British fleet. Okay. Can I win this battle? I don't know if I can. Oh, I actually won. That's pretty cool. Let me see if I can chase the British fleet. I'm going to... Okay, looks like the British failed in deploying their soldiers. Um, okay, so I'm just going to continue following. Where'd he go? There he is. Okay. Okay. Actually, I'm going to send this unit to Detroit. In modern-day Michigan, of course. But... Okay, where, where'd he go? Where'd he go? I don't know. But I'm going to fight these soldiers. Um, I'm sorry. I'm going to 
send my fleets to fight these ships from British North America, represented here as Newfoundland, as I mentioned earlier. Okay. I got... Yeah, my guys are going to win this. I won. Let me see if there's any British... I don't know where those other ships went, but I'm going to send my guys up to the Maritime Provinces, or what are now the Maritime Provinces. Basically, I'll send them to the Bay of Fundy, so that they can blockade... So that they can blockade modern-day Nova Scotia. Okay, I, I'm going to keep them together, so just in case a fleet comes... Just in case a British fleet comes, I'll keep them together. Okay, Bible translated, great news. Okay. I'm gonna fight these American rebels right here. Let me send another unit to Detroit. region did these rebels occupy? Okay, the Catskills in New York State. Okay, there we go. Send these guys here. I occupied Detroit. Now I have 5% war score. Now will the British accept my independence? No, they won't. I don't want to give them any land. I have to go to I have to be at peace with Great Britain with all my cores. Now, I don't need to win anything from them. I just need to end the war with a white peace. Which is basically them recognizing my independence. Now, where should I send my soldiers? I'm going to send these two guys to Niagara. If they, Even if they lose, I have these guys coming over here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to Ontario. So that the two groups of soldiers can meet. In fact... I'm going to stack these guys, I'm going to combine them, and I'm going to have General Thaddeus Kosciuszko. There we go. I'll have him leading these units, and yeah, that's what I'm going to do. In fact, I'm going to have, okay, I'm going to have Anthony Wayne in charge of this unit, and I'm going to have Benedict Arnold in charge of this one. Um, I'll have Horatio Gates in charge of this one. Okay, now I have 6% war score. Yeah, the British won't accept. Okay, now they're blockading. I gotta fight the British down here. Let me send these soldiers up to Toronto, which, as I mentioned before, used to be known as York. Okay. I'm going to send these guys up to Ottawa, and I'm going to recruit some more soldiers here in Ticonderoga to fight the British. Okay, so I got some more manpower. I'm just going to just gonna max it out. Have some hus Okay. You know, I'll have some Redcoat infantry. It's just cheaper. But I'll, I'll, I might get some hussars later. I'm not being blockaded anymore, but there's still... There's some ships from the British West Indies down here, so I'm gonna fight them. could recruit some troops, ask for military access from the Creek Native Americans, and invade some of these colonies. I think I'll do that. But first I gotta recruit some soldiers. Okay, I need mercenaries. 
No, I have some guys down here I'm recruiting, so that's that's fine. Okay, the creek accepted. The I believe all the Native American tribes will accept my request for military access. I'm gonna send this guy to Lou. Or Lou. This is the Riviere de Lou region of um of um Quebec. Okay, there's 24 British soldiers, or now I got What I gotta do is fight them. I have 43k British soldiers against 24k British North American soldiers. So what I gotta do is they're not gonna accept anything, but okay, let me chase them. They're probably going down to. Okay, I'm chasing them. I'm gonna. Okay, there's some British soldiers there. I'm gonna just build up my forces in Louisville. I'm gonna get the British down there later. Okay. USA, an independent nation. John Adams is a good friend with Joan van der Kappelen Totdenpol, the Dutch patriot leader who was an advocate of the American cause. He voted against barring the British King George III, the Scotch Brigade, to be deployed in the war with the American Republic and has continued to dedicate himself to the American War of Independence. His influence could be used to convince the States General to recognize the United States as an independent nation. Let him try. USA, an independent nation. With the help and influences of John van der Kappelen, Tottenpol, John Adams has managed to secure Netherlands' recognition of the United States as an independent government at The Hague. Fantastic. Okay, so now I have good relations with the Dutch Republic. Alright, there's the Dutch Republic, also known as the Netherlands. Um, or the United Provinces of the Netherlands. Okay, I'm going to send my soldiers to meet here, then I'm going to fight the British down in Georgia. Okay, the 13 colonies occupied Savannah. Now, where are the British going? I gotta get, I gotta chase them. Now they got Augusta in Georgia. Okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna send these guys out here. I'm just gonna send them here. Cities demand all rights, and then I'll accept. All the way there. You gotta chase him down. Come on, come on, come on. And now he's moving again. Okay. Let me send these guys here. Okay, now they're, the British are invading South Carolina. Okay. I'm this close. It's a cat and mouse game. But, okay, what? Okay. Fight the British, I'm this close. What the okay. Okay. Okay, at some point the British are just gonna have to get tired of this and yeah, okay. Is there anything I can give them back in return? What's I mean Yeah, that's still not going to do anything. Okay. I just need to be at peace with Great Britain. That's that's all. Let me fight these... Let me fight this British West Indian naval force. I'm going to fight the British in Augusta. Or, I guess the British Americans. Like, these guys represent the 13 colonies. So I guess these are... I'll fight the Loyalists. Okay, these are basically Loyalists. I'll call these guys Loyalists. Come on, come on, come on. It can't run away. I'm gonna raise a professional. Hmm. I'm gonna raise a prof yeah. I'm, I'm gonna raise provincial militias just like in real life. Okay, this is the creation of the Continental Army. That's good. 
I'm going to kickstart the fur trade. I won the Battle of Delaware Bay. Let me... Let me send these guys. Gotta keep following the British. Okay, I won the Battle of Augusta. I'm going to chase the British... The remaining British uh, forces down here. How am, I, how am I doing up in Canada? I still gotta chase down the British. Well, I lost the Battle of Ticonderoga. I'm gonna go down here. Because I got way more soldiers that can fight the British. Okay, the United States occupied Augusta. Now I'm gonna occupy Savannah. Now, now I'm gonna go occupy British Florida and British West Florida. I'm gonna blockade some British land in Canada. Okay, now I'm fighting the British, but I need my other guys. They're gonna be there any minute now. Okay, here's the second battle of Ticonderoga. I won. Now the British are in retreat. Can I get them to accept my independence now? Hmm. I'm going to chase the remaining British forces into Canada. And I'm going to teach them who is boss. Okay, where are they fleeing to? They're, wa they're, they're probably going over here to Memphremagog. Okay. okay, I'm actually winning against the British fleets in Canada. And now I'm occupying some land in British Florida. Okay, there are some British soldiers there. Let me... Go there. I'm gonna have 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 a couple forces here. I won the Battle of Cabot Strait. Okay, I'm gonna follow. I'm gonna send. I'm gonna keep one guy here to occupy this land. But the rest of the guys, I'm just gonna have follow the retreating British armies into the Maritimes. Okay, I lost the Battle of Savannah, but I have some guys... Okay. I have some guys following the British. Darn it. There's some other guys there. Let me send these guys here. Whoa, okay. Um, let me just go there. I'm gonna go there. That looks like where they're going to. Okay. Where did the British go? I'm still going to occupy St. John's, but I, I don't... Okay, that's where the British went. I'm going to go here to Fundy. I'm going to fight this fleet as well. This is the Isle of Anticosti in Quebec, and this is the Gulf of St. Lawrence. Okay, now I'm going to occupy Three Rivers, or as it's known in French, Trois Rivières. I could occupy Montreal. I think I'll go for Montreal. Now, will Britain accept my independence? Not yet. What I need to do is I'm going to flee. In, I'm going to flee into Cree territory. Okay, I'm going to recruit some more soldiers here in Georgia. Go to Moncton. Okay, that's where the British are holed up. But I need to siege. I need to siege Fundy first. All right. No, I'm not going to attack him by boat. That's pointless. guys down here. I just took Moncton. Okay, who's going to offer me a loan? Uh, the Creek Indians will. Or the Creek Native Americans, if we want to be more precise. Or more correct, I should say. That That is more correct. And his noose are the Spanish... 
Okay, no, no, that's the British West Indies. Yeah, Spain's not at war with me. Spain was an ally of the Americans during the Revolutionary War, but they're not allies at the moment. And France and the Netherlands were allies of the Americans, too. But they're not allies right now, either. So, okay. I have to kick the British out of Savannah. After that, they'll probably accept my offer of peace. Okay, I'm gonna send these guys up. Jeez, what do I, okay. I'm just gonna go around to this place. Etch, men, what's this place called? Etchemal. I, okay, I'm gonna occupy Hall. But I guess I can occupy this area. Campbellton. Abigail Adams. I'll make her an advisor. Okay, now I occupied Savannah. I'm gonna have all these units meet up here so I can fight the Loyalists. I'll give them some money. I don't know why the British aren't accepting peace. Now I'm going to fight the Loyalists here in Florida. Don't run away. Okay, now they're in this part of modern-day Alabama. Okay. Adams Onus Treaty. I'll accept the offer. Okay, now I, g I gained some land in Spanish Florida. Now, in real life, the Am Adams Onus Treaty didn't have it until 1819, and that's when America bought Florida from Spain. Uh, anyways... Okay, now I got some more land. Okay. They're exaggerating. Okay, I'm going to make East Florida a state. Now I'm going to go for Quebec. Now I'm going to go for Nipissing. I've occupied Campbellton. I'm going to go for Gaspé and... Ramuski. Okay, I found some British so British forces here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, get them, get them. I don't have a military access with this tribe. I guess it doesn't matter. I can just... I didn't even need to ask the tribes for military ac access, it seems. Yeah, I won that battle. Okay, now there are some loyalist forces here that I have to fight. But at this point, I'm, I'm getting so many... Okay, I'm going to occupy this area. Hmm. I just have to hang in there, and eventually the British will surrender. But in the meantime, I'm going to recruit some more soldiers first. 